We're living in a world now where we really need everyone to be a responsible leader. We need leaders at all levels. Leaders who understand the people, the constituencies that they're dealing with, and care about them. To be a good leader, you've got to be ethical. The most important quality in tomorrow's leaders is how good are they at working across all kinds of different perspectives. The mission of Kravis Leadership Institute is to define what is leadership and how we can bring out those qualities and provide tools and resources to our students for their leadership capacities to grow. Leadership is so interwoven into the mission of Claremont McKenna College. And so it made sense to have an institute that was devoted to the development of leadership in our students. Henry was originally interested in entrepreneurship. I felt entrepreneurship was a little too narrow. And we decided on the theme of leadership, of which entrepreneurship is a, could be a part of. So that's how the Kravitz Leadership Institute was born. It was a little bit of the Wild West where we were looking at everything in leadership from uh, Churchill to uh, Phil Jackson at the Chicago Bulls. We were all over the map. I came to the Kravis Leadership Institute and it was its second year and uh, we were pretty much a startup. We had a minor in leadership studies, what we call a sequence. There's a foundational course, a senior level deep dive course in ethics and then an experiential requirement. Very often is um, satisfied through a summer internship. With some leadership and pushing, all of a sudden ideas started to emanate in a lot of different places within KLI. Henry encouraged us to narrow our focus and chose social innovation as an area that seemed undermined, important, and something that was in tune with uh, CMC's mission as a college. The Kravis Prize was an evolution of that distinction, and Henry thought that there's really nothing that focused on leadership, per se. Who's really driving social innovation? I remember talking to my wife, Mary Jose, one night at dinner, and I said, I'm thinking of setting up this prize. What do you think about it? I said, I'd be happy to lead this effort. And she ran with it. We extended it to the world. We took recommendations and applications, and we identified those social enterprises that really were making an impact. To this day, CMC continues to have close relationships with each one of the prize winners. And 18% of graduates enter the not-for-profit world. Of course, the crevices don't stop there because every great institute needs an amazing transformative facility. And the Kravis Center is an architectural marvel that really has set the campus on a completely different arc. The idea of the building was one of supporting excellence. It's also one of openness. It's very accessible. At CMC, a lot of my life revolves around the Kravis Center. If it's going to class in one of the Kravis Center rooms or studying in the cube, it's really nice to kind of have a building on campus that's devoted to all facets of the studies here. It also set a new architectural standard for the campus, which in many ways has inspired our whole public art initiative. Now with masterful pieces on our campus, The community is made up of lots of different kinds of people from all socioeconomic, gender, race backgrounds. And that's why this scholarship program is so important.
We did the Kravis Leadership Prize for 10 years, and having done that, we felt that perhaps we could take it maybe closer to the students, and therefore the Social Innovation Lab was an idea that flowed from that. Through Kravis Lab for Social Impact, I worked with an organization that deals with women who are pregnant and they use drugs, so they help them to heal through that process. Just having that opportunity to actually work with organizations who are doing the job that I would potentially do, it's a growth moment for me. I was five years into learning Spanish and I really, really wanted to travel. I found this institute that focused on cultural immersion within the city of Bilbao in northern Spain. And that's when I started working with the school to get funding, and they're just more than generous to send me out there. All they need is somebody to reach out and give them a helping hand. That's what the Kravis Opportunity Fund is all about. Some students who receive financial aid receive financial aid strictly for their studies, and we felt that we should supplement that and provide the students with the opportunity to do internships and to have access to really the life of every other student. I actually intend to start my own organization. My leadership that has been honed here will help me. Over the last 25 years, the world around us has changed and the way leaders have to perform has changed. So now is our opportunity to take this foundation and really build upon it. What I'm excited about is what I see CMC doing in their focus now on science and technology. We live in a world in which new technologies are going to have an enormous impact uh, on our civilization and by providing a strong integrated foundation in science and computation, we believe that we can take that next step to prepare this generation to be their own great generation to meet the world's challenges.